So this is just sort of uh, to, you know, this is just sort of picking up at the end of the last lecture, and I just wanted to make sure it was clear kind of where these equations come from, because when we de when we derived it, we derived it in this kind of funny structure. All right. So now we're now that we've sort of de defined geometrically the Cauchy stress, let's talk about some properties of a stress tensor. And you know, before we, when we were talking about strain, we, we talked about rotation. Um, and so you know, here I want to say that you know, if you have a vector u and we rotate it, say, to u prime, maybe this is v, and it's rotated to v prime, right? We, we showed or talked about that you can rotate this, or you know, the vector u transforms, or u prime transforms from u through a rotation tensor, right? And we'd, define that, a rotation matrix, right? So u prime is equal to ru, and likewise v prime is equal to rv, okay? Well, now we want to take a look at how tensors transform. So if I had a tensor equation, say, v t u, right? And just just to note, it's, this tensor equation is, just keep in mind, it's, it's not anything different than that, really. I'm just using a little bit different terms, right? I mean, because the traction is a vector, the Cauchy stress is a tensor, oops, and the uh, and a, and a normal is, is a vector. So, you know, I, I'm sort of using g generic variables here, but, you know, the idea relates back to that. So we have this tensor equation, and we want to see, you know, how it transforms. So, like, if, if I were to change the basis vectors from v to v prime, what does t prime look like? That's sort of the question I'm asking, okay? Well, we can just plug in the values from above, right? So uh, these, right, just plug those into our equation, and we'll have rv is equal to t prime or u, right? And now, you know, I can multiply this equation on the left-hand side. You got to be careful when you're dealing with matrices, right? You either multiply both sides on the left or both sides on the right. <clears throat> but I can multiply both sides on the left by the inverse of r, right? And we know that a matrix inverse times itself is the identity matrix, right? So then we just have that V is equal to R inverse T prime R. And we said before that R is a unitary matrix, right? Its inverse is its transpose. So we can say that R, oops, be u over there, r transpose t prime r u, right? And so, and I should have been carrying my little, please uh, don't let me get away with that, it's important. Especially since, you know, I tried to save you the guys the money of a, getting a book. My notes are your book, right? So you can't let me get away with little mistakes like, if there's a little mistake in the Initial notation, or I don't carry a vector hat symbol through. Please correct me because you know these notes serve as your book. They need to be right. Okay. <clears throat> so, if you compare this equation to the original, right, we can see just by inspection that t is equal to r transpose t prime r, and then from this equation we could basically develop an alternate relationship that, you know, T prime is R transpose, you know, RT R transpose, okay? So this is sort of how a tensor would transform from one coordinate system to the other, okay?